this is Carlo. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And uh, today, as promised, we're going to be doing a little lightsaber effect um, in After Effects. So, uh, footage I'm going to be using is this piece of footage, blank footage um, of Carlo Ren. Um, we are going to make the lightsaber appear. Um, basically, look good. Um, to be perfectly honest. So, now uh, there's a couple of things. Um, if you're making your own, obviously your own lightsaber feature, um, you're going to make sure that your lightsaber prop has a stick, because normally what you would do is um, animate um, over the stick, so you'll use your key for your, the stick as reference, but for this we're just going to make uh, the lightsaber appear uh, just like so, <coughs> and basically look uh, pretty good. Uh, so we're going to be using a couple of plugins for this, so we're going to be using Sabre and we're going to be using Heat Distortion, uh, both from Video Copilot, and I'll explain the Heat Distortion um, scenario uh, once uh, we get into it. So, first of all, um, I'm going to go to the point where uh, Carlo Ren is, like I say, is about to appear, so it's going to be there, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to call this lightsaber and click OK and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my um, saber effect to um, that layer and I'm going to change my mode from normal to screen okay so first of all I'm going to position the lightsaber where I need it to be so say about here like so and then I'm going to trim my lightsaber down because I want the lightsaber to appear exactly here I don't want it appearing around here so now we've got the effect that the lightsaber has just appeared now obviously uh, we're going to need to do some animation to this um, so what you want to do is for the first animation place it exactly where you want the lightsaber we're going to go um, shift and then we're going to click stop work under call start call end this will start our animation process or our keyframing process and then we're just going to go forward and i'm going to bring this bit up to about here this bit to here And then all you're doing simply is keyframing the whole lightsaber as the production or the um, person moves or the lightsaber moves. Now, like I said, I mean, if you've got a stick as reference, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier uh, for you guys to see what's going on. Um, I'm just going to do this quick, very quickly on a whim, like so. So let's say, for instance, we've done our keyframing and we've created our lightsaber for what we want. And it's down here. And let's go back to the beginning of the animation. Right, so uh, we're going to uh, obviously change the colour to a red colour, so I'm going to make it red. I'm going to punch the intensity up give it a bit of glow and now what I want to do because if you look at Carl Wren uh, in the picture he's got some sort of like a heat displacement um, around the lightsaber so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply another video copilot effect called heat distortion to that so this is going to give it a little bit of a, a jagged look so let's put the heat up and now just maybe change the colour to say an orange or a dark orange. So to give us our own effect. So now we've got that lovely um, rough fiery glow to the end of the lightsaber which makes it look really really cool. So then obviously this is not keyframe properly as you can probably tell because I haven't done it, but then you want to go for that entire piece of footage, um, just keyframing the lightsaber to the way you want 
amount here. Maybe we can reduce this amount to say 55. And distortion amount to say, let's say eight. No, maybe a bit more. Let's go five for the distortion amount. It's just to give it that sort of rough, sort of uh, cold ring. Now obviously keyframing is the most important thing, so the nicker your keyframe, the better your um, line saver is going to look. And maybe in the next tutorial we'll do the, the saver coming out of these sites as well. But for the time being this is how I like to do my light saver. Um, to basically make it look good really. So another thing you could do, um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll apply these uh, this footage and um, the particle footage that I'm about to use in the description below and be immediate via link. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to import um, that piece of particle. So I'm just going to try and find it now under my stock footage. Uh, let's have a look, guys. Uh, particles I'm just going to use this red one here I'll, I'll attach this piece of footage to the um, to the project file for you guys so you can play around with it and this is what I'm going to do right now what I'm going to do is I want to drag this piece of footage here which is particles and I'm just going to drop it on okay and then just wait for that to do its thing <coughs> Right, so these particles here, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this up to here. To where the um, the lightsaber starts, okay? So let's go along. Now, I'm going to change that from normal to screen. until we see the uh, particles itself. Right, we can just see the particle particles itself. Let's go to add so they're a bit more finer. And then just, right, these particles here. Can you see these particles here? Uh, what I'm going to do is, with that selected, I'm going to just mask around um, this bit of the footage. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this closer um, to the lightsaber. Like so, so I'm going to sort of make it the same sort of dimension, if that makes sense, as the lightsaber. But we want to see stuff, so let's just go where the particles um, are moving. Now, when the lightsaber moves, we're going to get some. Let me go to the third res because it's quite heavy this. <coughs> we sh we're going to get some um, particles like you can see here. And now because we've uh, masked it, let's go feather. So let's just feather it out. Like so. And we're going to get particles uh, coming off the light saber itself. But then we can fix uh, this. So let's go back because we've not keyframed this bit yet. As you can see, this bit's not keyframed. So let's bring our mask in around our lightsaber now you can obviously make the lightsaber any color you want it's entirely up to you but what you're going to want to do is keyframe this entire mask put this down not too close otherwise we're going to lose the particles uh, floating around um, the actual lightsaber itself. Now, obviously that has given it a hell of a lot more of an intense glow, so I'm just going to go back to my lightsaber. There it goes right to my control panel. I'm going to bring the glow intensity right down now. As you can see, we've got some nice uh, particles um, moving around our lightsaber. Now, what you can do with this is play around with the um, timing of it. So let's go to uh, layer, time, time stretch. Let's punch this up to about 300. Right, 
imagine if this was all keyframe. We've not keyframe this stuff yet. Okay. So let's just go to about here. So what we do? Let's just trim this to where we've keyframed. Okay. So we know exactly where we where we're going. Okay. Right now, I'm gonna also what I've just done with that um, time. Okay, so time stretch. Let's go to let's go fifty, and then just bring this over the top of the layer itself. Now, I don't like what I've done there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to layer time time stretch and put that back to hundred. Now let's stretch this out. To about there. To about there. And let's try it. Obviously we're not keyframed a lot, so this is why. exactly what I mean. Right. Right, so now we know that the lightsaber is going to start at this point. Okay? So obviously we are going to want to animate this. So we are going to keep P on the keyboard, uh, set a keyframe, and then move this down. see basically what's going on now. Right, so now I'm going to bring this forward and then I'm just going to add them. Oh, that's all what I wanted to do guys, sorry about that. My just animating slowly my um, Sorry, my kid don't realise I told him I'm doing a tutorial. Right, so that's that. Now we need to move this, obviously, because that's not in the right place. To about there. So let's just have a little gander about, see what is that is going on. So that don't look too bad, but I suppose you sort of get the general idea of where we're going 
um, with this effect we're just giving it that very sort of a little bit more depth um, into the actual lightsaber itself now that don't look right there so let's go to another key and we're just going to alter this and now because we set a keyframe obviously it's going to work uh, with a key and that we've done as you can see there Okay, so that's basically it really, that's how you do a nice little uh, lightsaber effect in After Effects uh, using Saber. Now obviously you can go back to your lightsaber if you wish, um, you can change the colour of your lightsaber anytime you want um, and it will automatically um, change the colour of the, um, the particles coming off of it which is great. So it basically will happen on the fly for you. And just give you that little bit more of a realistic uh, sort of lightsaber look. So when you obviously add your sound effects on and so on, um, you're going to get a really nice uh, looking uh, lightsaber. So I hope you found this tutorial exciting, or not exciting, but helpful, should I say. Please remember to hit that like button. Um, I would appreciate it um, a lot. Um, and if you're not subscribed, uh, why not uh, hit the subscribe button? Um, and yeah, right saber with you in After Effects. So as always, guys, thanks for listening, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next tutorial. Ciao, ciao.